Well, hello boys and girls. It's your favourite grumpy granny from Grogu's Patch and I have a big lot of mail to do this afternoon. But I thought I'd show you what has sold before I go and package it up. Because there's some interesting things in here and a bit of uh, variety, shall we say. So the first one is, and I'm a little bit sad about this one because I only just listed her a few days ago. And this is Strawberry Shortcake and this is a 1982 vintage uh, Kenner doll. Let's put this over here so I can see my notes. And uh, yeah, she's rather sweet, in pretty good condition. Unfortunately, she doesn't have her original outfit. I would have been able to get more money for her if she had have had her original outfit, but she doesn't. So this cost me $2.00. And the profit I will receive from this sale is $23.68. Now, I don't know what's going on with VHS, but all of a sudden, VHS is selling again. Don't know why, what it is. But I've sold this uh, bundle of Around the Twist, uh, Paul Jennings uh, wrote, TV show. And I didn't have a full set, so it's one to six, but I've only got two to six, so not too bad. The five VHS cost me a dollar, all up, and I'll get a $15.12 profit out of that one, which is pretty good for VHS because I thought they were dead in the water. And I sold another VHS as well. So this one is a Batman and Robin. This one is from da -da -da, 1997. It's just your standard store release. Um, and I will make a profit of $8.57 on that 50 cent purchase from an op shop. Next we have a cap. Now I've had this one listed for a while. Um, so I did take a lower offer than usual. It cost me $3 this one. And I took an offer including postage of $27.99 so the profit I will get off this one will be $7.80 still pretty good though for um, $3 you know like I've over -doubled, doubled what I invested the original investment uh, also sold this book not a high price book but a true story The Eagle and the Rose um, by Rosemary Altea it's sort of like a spiritual adventure book hardcover first edition I'll make, uh, it cost me a dollar and I will make a $9.97 off that one. Then we have this little bundle here, which is Ella and Olivia, which these are pretty good. If you can pick these up for a low enough cost, these are good to bundle up. Um, they seem to sell quite well in bundles. This is a 10 book bundle. So the whole bundle, they were 20 cents each, cost me $2.00 and I'll make a profit of $19.31 off that nice little bundle and plus 10 books and it'll still easily fit in a small padded mailer which is great and then we have this one here I was pretty happy with this one because this is a QB7 which is Leon Uris who seems to be selling quite well at the moment now this is a first edition UK and they are quite rare the hardcovers for that but look, the condition's not great. The, um, there's no dust jacket. And as you can see, the cloth cover, there's a bit of foxing as well. So it's not in the greatest condition. So to get a sale of $44.99, and all the prices that I'm giving you of what they sold for are including postage. So $44.99, cost me a dollar. I will get back $22.67 on that one. Now, my favourite but saddens me again a little bit a book sale this week is Mr Froggy Went A Courting now this is by James Rain a uh, Australian Crawl musician and Wendy Straw and it is actually a book with a CD in it I actually bought this more so that I could listen to it and see what the James Rain sounded like doing a little um, you know kids book um, and for my Grumpy Granny Reads channel. But unfortunately, I've sold it before I'm going to get a chance to do that. So, yeah, bit of a bugger. Cost me a dollar. I'll get back $13.67 on that one. Probably could have priced that up a bit higher because I only had it listed for a few days before it sold. Um, but, yeah, you know, is what it is. Now we're going to get on to some clothing. 
first up we have this lovely Carolyn Morgan um, size 14 shirt now some of these clothes are great I've been doing some end and sell similar on some of my older clothes to try and give them a bit of a boost and get them sold this one I've had this one for you know probably 18 months um, so yeah some of these I've taken slightly lower offers on than I otherwise would have cost me two dollars I'll make a profit of twelve dollars thirty five uh, so including post twenty seven ninety nine this is what a lovely little sale got a bit of fluff on it I'll have to do limp this one before I package it up so this is a Perry Cutton so if you don't know this brand this is an Australian vintage brand of clothing really good brand to pick up this particular jumper even though it's a size small was a good pickup it's a mock turtleneck in black which is always a, a great color but it is actually a pure new wool so if you actually have a look there you can see the old vintage pure new wool um, tag and so this one da -da -da, I've lost my spot cost me a dollar eighty in a bag deal I could fill a bag for five dollars so all including postage 38.87 I'll make a profit of $16.65 on that one so that one was pretty good now we'll get on to some jeans which I'm not going to take these out of the bag but <clears throat> we've got a pair of Gap bootleg jeans an older style with a wide elastic waist um, these were cost me three dollars I took an offer on these which was uh, $17 plus, plus $9.99 postage. I'll only make a profit of $5.29 off these. But that's okay, I've had them for quite a while. Um, the next pair are this pair of Balin jeans. They've got quite a nice fancy tag. They're a really nice jean actually. And I have sold these ones before and the person sent them back because they didn't fit properly. So hopefully the person that bought them this time has read the measurements correctly. These cost me 69 cents and uh, all up I'll make a profit of 18.88 on those. Then we have this pair of Just Jeans. Again, you'll see these have got number 88 on it. So this is a very, uh, I've had these jeans for like two years. So I've had these for a while. They are a skinny leg with an ankle zip um, feature, but they also are vintage nice um, fading on them but I'll only make a profit of $4.29 because unfortunately these were also rural post which you know would have been better if they ha hadn't been rural post then we've got this pair of reef board shorts these are really lovely actually they're in really nice condition they cost me $2.50 um, size 36 I'll make a profit of $9.78 on these ones so pretty happy with that then we've got some coats. Coats are going out, flying out the door at the moment. This is a Fletcher Jones one. It's not a vintage one. This one is made in China, but it's Country Club by Fletcher Jones. It's like a microfiber sort of thing. It doesn't actually appear to have ever been worn, I wouldn't think. In really good condition. Um, and cost me $2. And all up, I'll make a profit of $15.73 on that. And when I'm talking profit, that... The profit I'm giving you is where I've taken out all the expenses, the cost of goods, the eBay fees, the postage, and even the padded mailer that I'm going to send these in, and I'll be left with that much profit. Second last one is a really nice one, but again, I've had this one for a little while. I had this listed since last winter. Didn't sell last winter, but has sold this winter. So this is Coatman, and this is another vintage Australian brand. Uh, size 14 and this is actually a wool and cashmere um, blend with also some polyamide in it um, so it has got some sort of you know polyester type stuff in it fully lined really nice sort of bubbly you know fabric um, yeah bloody lint on stuff that's been hanging up for a while but anyway this one it cost me four dollars and I'll make a profit of $18.26 does have to go in a large because by the time you bundle that up it's going to be I don't stuff around if it's too big I'm not going to try and squeeze it into the size down I'd rather just pay the extra for the post on that one this is another one that I've had for a while so this one is a grip jeans brand um, again I listed this last winter didn't sell but it's like a, a sort of like a biker jacket military style type jacket 
it's a again a wool vintage wool blend um let me see what is this 50 uh, 60 wool 40 percent vicose um with a polyester lining so really nice navy color very smart looking and this one again cost me two dollars and i'll make a profit of 23 dollars and nine cents on that one so again happy with that so on all those sales i added them up so the total amount i've spent to buy all of these so my cost of goods is 33 dollars and 49 cents so not a lot of investment from that i received a total revenue so how much money ebay received for the cost of goods plus postage etc from the buyer is $609.72 and when I take out all my expenses I'm left with a profit of $245.06 damn jolly good if I say so myself so there you go that is what's sold today and I will see you next time